Hi, my name is Mackenzie Barrows. I'm a second semester nursing student. Today is February 23rd, 2017, and I'm going to be doing a self-press exam um, explanation. All right. Hi, my name is Mackenzie. I'm going to be your student nurse today. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? Savannah Wilshire, 925 of 1996. All right, nice to meet you, Savannah. Um, so we're going to be a, doing a self-press exam today, and I just have a few questions here at the beginning. Do you, um, have you noticed any lumps or masses in your breast? No. Okay, what about any pain or discharge? No. No? Okay, and what about like family history? Do you have any family history of uh, breast cancer? Um, my aunt and my grandma did. Okay, so have you started self-breast exams yet? No. No? Okay, well great, today is a perfect time to start. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I have some information here from the American Breast Cancer uh, Foundation, and okay. so I'm going to be giving you some information on that. And if you have any questions after today, you could always look that information back up. Okay? okay. All right. Well, um, self-breast exams um, are good to start in your mid-20s. That way you can start learning your breasts early, and that way if you notice any changes throughout time, you can let your physician know. Okay. okay. All right, so we're going to um, start out. You can do it in any position. You can do it in the shower. You can do it standing, laying, sitting, whatever's comfortable for you, or you could try out multiple positions if you'd like. So we're gonna start out in a circular motion. You're gonna start out in your armpit area, working in towards the middle, and we're gonna like go all the way up to the, underneath the clavicle bone, okay? Because you okay. wanna get all of that tissue. So you're gonna start out in a circular motion. You're gonna use the pads of your three fingers, and you're gonna start in your armpit, and work your way around, and you're gonna use three different pressures, light, medium, and deep, um, to try to get all of that tissue covered, okay? So you're gonna go around in a circle, and you're gonna go all the way into the middle of the breastbone, and you're gonna come all the way up, and then once you work your way all the way into the nipple, you're gonna see if you have any kind of discharge or anything coming out of your nipple also. After you do the circular, we're going to do vertical, so we're gonna start up at the armpit, and go all the way down until we meet all the way in the middle, and we're gonna do that on both sides. And then the last one is a wedge shape, so it's kind of like an up and down triangle, like vertical and then back up. Okay. So we're gonna do that on both breasts to see if there's any differences. And then last of all, you can do um, scanning in the mirror to just to see if you have any kind of different um, shapes or swelling or any kind of masses that you can see protruding off. Different shapes is normal in breasts, so don't be alarmed at that, but obviously if there's a big significant difference within time, that's something that you would also wanna let your physician know. So any kind of lumps, masses, discharge, any kind of pain that's not normal, you're gonna to wanna to let your physician know about that stuff, okay? Okay, do you have any questions? No, not really. Okay, sounds great. Well, if you need anything else, just let us know, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Thanks.